How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Monitor Comics, the channel where we create comics and manga. If this is your first time checking out my YouTube channel, then I hope you can check out some of my other videos after you are finished watching this one. We have already covered a ton of cool comic making tutorials, such as how to create power systems in shonen manga, how to create unique character designs, and how to come up with the perfect names for your original characters. In today's video, we will be discussing how to create well-written side characters for your comics, manga, and webtoon projects. By the end of this video, you will know the importance of side characters and how to properly implement them into your graphic novel projects. But first, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. This video is proudly brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity. Skillshare is the perfect place to get inspired, learn new skills, and put them to work in impactful ways. Skillshare classes range from photography, illustration, graphic design, animation, freelancing, and more. For my audience, I highly recommend you check out Skillshare's classes focused on creating comics and manga. There are so many great resources for improving your manga artwork and storytelling abilities. Right now I am taking the class 28 Day Drawing Challenge, Anatomy for Illustration and Comics by popular art YouTuber Jaza. Throughout this class, Jaza demonstrates how to draw human anatomy in a way that is super simple to understand. This class is ideal for beginner and intermediate illustrators, but will benefit anyone looking to improve their anatomy drawings. You can follow along with your medium of choice, on paper or digitally. Even if you're working with different tools, Jaza's tips and techniques will still apply to your process. What's cool about this class is it's catered towards comic art. Unlike traditional art classes taught in school, Jaza's class shows you how to see the basic shapes of the human body and how to simplify it for comics, manga, and webtoon illustrations. By the end of this class, I definitely gained a better understanding of how to draw the human figure. On screen, you can see some figure studies I illustrated while taking the class. What I love about this class is it breaks down all the different body parts, arms, legs, torso, and back into separate lessons. This allows you to focus on one body part at a time. Jaza also provides insight on the general muscle structure and function of each body part, giving you an even better understanding of what you are drawing and why it bends the way it does. If you are an aspiring comic artist, manga artist, or webtoon creator, I highly recommend you check out this Skillshare course. Skillshare is ad-free, so you can stay in the zone while you are exploring new skills. New premium classes launch every week, so there is always something new to discover on Skillshare. If English is not your first language, Skillshare's entire catalog is now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my video description and pinned comment will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Take this opportunity to invest in yourself and your goals by becoming a Skillshare member today. Thank you again, Skillshare, for continuing to support the creative community. Now, let's get back to the video. Side characters, also known as secondary characters or supporting characters, are characters in a story who complement the protagonist and or the antagonist character. Think of popular side characters such as Levi Ackerman from Attack on Titan, Kamina from Gurren Lagann, and Roy Mustang from Full Metal Alchemist. A side character is commonly used as a tool for world building. They allow you to establish context for your world. Think about it. If your story takes place on a spaceship, there have to be crewmates on board to man the spaceship. If your story takes place in a medieval kingdom, there have to be knights and kings. Secondary characters are characters who are not your protagonist or your antagonist. Think of parents, friends, co-workers, bosses, or minor villains. Side characters should not be confused with background characters. Characters who only exist to fill the world of your story. Secondary characters are essential to every good story. They help move the plot forward and motivate the protagonist to act. Side characters should have their own opinions, beliefs, and point of view that complement or contradict the protagonist. They should push the protagonist to make certain decisions or perform certain actions. Secondary characters can also stand in opposition to the protagonist, making them rethink their reasoning or action. Secondary characters who bring out the best or the worst in your protagonist are known as foil characters. Foil characters exist to highlight or draw attention to the qualities of another character. The term foil comes from a jewelry photography technique where you set a gem on a foil base to enhance its shine. Foil characters don't necessarily need to create opposition or conflict. Some foil characters can even be a friend of the character they are designed to draw attention to. The main purpose of a foil character is to emphasize another character's strengths or weaknesses. Since foil characters may have different values and motivations, they may make different decisions than the protagonist, creating what-if plotlines. Some examples of foil characters in anime and manga include Naruto and Sasuke from Naruto, Lelouch and Suzaku from Code Geass, Tai and Matt from Digimon Adventure, Hinata and Kageyama from Haikyuu, Kion and Haruhi from The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumi, and Rei and Asuka from Evangelion. Aside from foils, supporting characters can also be sidekicks, romantic interests, henchmen, mentors, best friends, rivals, and comic relief. A supporting character needs to ground your story and act as a reference point for the reader. While your protagonist is someone your reader should see themselves in, a side character is someone who needs to add context to the world. Side characters add life to the world your story takes place in, making it feel more believable. An easy way to think about this is in an isekai series. The reincarnated main character must rely on a supporting cast to learn more about the fantasy world, the power system, and their role in the story. 
Secondary characters reveal key details, define a story setting, and motivate or foil the protagonist. It is important to note that supporting characters should not be static or flat. They should grow and evolve over time. Remember, your side character should feel as three-dimensional as your main character. Your secondary cast doesn't have to be purely good or purely evil all of the time. They could be morally gray. There are three types of secondary characters, supporters, antagonizers, and informers. Side characters who are supporters act as safe spaces for the main character. They are the person your main character confides in, allowing us to see how they are truly feeling or thinking about a certain situation. Supporter side characters can challenge the protagonist by questioning their judgment, offering alternate solutions, and convincing them not to make certain decisions. Examples of supporter type side characters include Karma Akabane from Assassination Classroom, Killua from Hunter x Hunter, and Rem from ReZero. Secondary characters who are antagonizers challenge the protagonist in a negative way. These characters are minor antagonists and should not be confused with your story's central antagonist. It is important to recognize that antagonizer side characters are not necessarily villains. While some can be, some characters may oppose your main character for non-villainous reasons. Some other antagonizer side characters may oppose your protagonist unintentionally through a misunderstanding or an accident. Examples of antagonizer side characters include Kampachi from Bleach, Itachi from Naruto, and Seto Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh! Supporting characters who are informers act as informational sources for your main character. Their role is to provide information and guidance. It is important to remember that side characters are not just plot devices. Even a character like an informer should be fully fleshed out and three-dimensional. Examples of side characters who are informers include Reagan from Mob Psycho 100, Goju from Jujutsu Kaisen, and Master Roshi from Dragon Ball. In real life, our personalities are the result of nurture and nature. Our life experiences influence the type of person we become as an adult. The same should be true for the characters in your comics, manga, and webtoon stories. When writing side characters, you should take into consideration their upbringing, lifestyle, and experiences. The author should understand the character's hobbies, quirks, and obsessions so that you are able to understand how they react to the events in your story. Examples of side characters with fleshed out backstories include Todoroki Shoto from My Hero Academia, Mikey from Tokyo Revengers, and Bishamon from Noragami. While there might only be a few main characters in your story, you may encounter hundreds of side characters throughout the course of your comic. For a reader, it can be difficult to remember every Tom, Dick, and Harry. For this reason, you should make it easier to distinguish side characters by giving them a unique trait or physical appearance. You could also give them a unique verbal trait or personality trait. Maybe make your side character speak in a specific way or wear a unique outfit. A plot device or plot mechanism is a technique used to move the plot of your story forward. Be careful when using plot devices. A cliche plot device may annoy your reader, and an arbitrary plot device may confuse your reader. By misusing plot devices, you can break your reader's immersion and negatively impact their reading experience. An easy way to avoid making your side character feel like a plot device is to treat them like you would a main character. Your side characters should have their own backstory, fears, and goals. Each supporting character in your story should want something out of whatever situation they are put into. They shouldn't just mindlessly do whatever the protagonist tells to do. Examples of supporting characters with agency include Paul Greyrat from Ushoka Tensei, Kokuchi Oma from Danganronpa V3, and Shinobu Kocho from Demon Slayer. Let's face it, some side characters are going to be more important than others. Some secondary characters may only appear briefly while others may stick around for an entire story arc. The goal of your side character should be to push the story forward or to influence your main characters in some way. Pick and choose which side characters to flesh out so you don't get distracted by details that don't really matter. You can avoid creating unnecessary side characters by combining characters together during the rough draft phase. You can also get rid of potential side characters by making them one-off background characters. Unlike your main characters, side characters can easily be put into dangerous situations or killed off. The term killing off doesn't always have to literally mean killing off a character. It could relate to a character who has to move or go away for some reason. It is important to remember that your side character should be written off with purpose. Shock value is not a good enough reason, it is a side effect. By writing off side characters, you can push the plot forward. A secondary character's death may motivate another character or help the main characters achieve their goal. If your main characters are in a dangerous situation, it might be realistic for several side characters to die or be injured. You can easily remove side characters that are no longer necessary to your story and give their sacrifice purpose. Spoiler alert, please skip ahead to this point in the video if you do not want to hear examples of side characters whose deaths greatly enhance the plot of their series. Character deaths like Marco Bolt from Attack on Titan, Ace from One Piece, and Jiraiya from Naruto left a huge impression on the main characters and the readers alike. Their deaths led to interesting plot developments and substantial character growth. Here are a few common mistakes writers make when developing side characters. Mistake number one, stealing the spotlight. One common mistake when writing side characters is unintentionally making them more interesting than the protagonist. Think of characters like Yuno Gasai from Future Diary, L from Death Note, and Makima from Chainsaw Man. These characters are debatably more popular than their series protagonists. An easy way to run into this problem is by focusing too much on a side character's backstory or character arc. You should always be asking yourself if your secondary characters add to the moral of your story or take away from it. Another way of running into this problem is by creating a secondary character who is more powerful or cooler than the protagonist. Remember, your main 
character should be the focus of your story. Things can get messy if you let more powerful side characters handle every conflict. An easy way to resolve this is to give your side character a specific reason for why they are accompanying your protagonist. Maybe they got caught up in a situation where they are unable to use their full power, forcing the main character to take back the spotlight. A good example of this can be seen in the shonen manga series Boruto. Boruto is the sequel series to Naruto, an incredibly popular manga series that used to be published in Weekly Shonen Jump. Naruto finished its publication with 72 manga volumes. As you can imagine, many characters have achieved tremendous feats and acquired powerful abilities by the end of the story. So how could the new characters in Boruto, a sequel series about the next generation of characters, compete with the pre-existing characters in Naruto? The answer is by creating circumstances where the more powerful adult characters are unable to use their full power or are unable to take part in the battle. While this may feel like a cheap gimmick, especially for the devoted fans of the original series, it creates an opportunity for the kids in Boruto to take the spotlight and tell their own story. Mistake number two is creating too many secondary characters. It is very easy to create more side characters than your story actually needs. As previously stated, each supporting character should have a purpose. They should be playing some role in the story to help move things forward or develop your main characters. If you take the time to explore each and every character's backstory and character arc, your story could easily become drawn out and confusing to follow. An easy way to fix this is to assign each side character a specific location in your story. What I mean by this is your specific side character should only show up when your protagonist is in that specific location. Instead of having side characters randomly visit your protagonist, have your protagonist travel to that one designated location to see that side character. Doing this will allow your reader to easily remember your side character because they will have created an association between the character and the setting. In conclusion, supporting characters are essential for every story. Without side characters, the worlds in your comic, manga, and webtoons will feel empty, lifeless, and static. Your main character needs to be able to interact with many different types of people to grow and evolve. Creating secondary characters adds context to your story and helps develop your main cast. It is important to treat them with just as much respect as you would give your main characters. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. More than 70% of my channel viewers are not subscribed. Drop a comment down below telling us about your favorite side characters in any comic, manga, or anime series. If you are working on your own project, tell us about your side characters down in the description below. I want to take this moment to thank all of my patrons for continuing to support me and this channel. If you sign up right now, you can have your name highlighted at the end of all of my YouTube videos. You can also unlock early access to new videos just like this and apply for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship program. Remember, you can support me on all of my social media accounts by using the links down in my description below. As always, keep creating everyone. I will see you all in the next one.